Hello my frogs and froglets for Frog49 here and I am here with an artist video for you all. So what I am bringing on my artists is barbecue and chili, jolt, sloppy butcher, and scorch hook gift of pain. So obviously if you don't know what these perks do, I will definitely tell you right now. So barbecue and chili after the update, after hooking a survivor, all survivor's ores are revealed to you for 4 seconds when they are further than 40 meters from the hook. So pretty much this perk, um, the only thing that has gotten removed was the extra blood points that it, it has gained from using barbecue and chili, which this perk is still pretty good. So this perk is kind of considered like a underrated or underused perk right now within the Dead by Daylight Killer community, but it is still a pretty good perk. Now Jolt has definitely got an upgrade within um, this update as well. The only thing that it um, has gotten upgrade with is that the cooldown has been removed from Jolt. So obviously whenever you are 32 meters away, the um, generator will explode and it loses 8% of the progress that it has um, on that gen. Sloppy Butcher obviously gives a hemorrhage and mangled status effect and it increases the rate at which healing progress is lost from hemorrhage by 25% which is huge especially within mid chase and a survivor decides to like start healing themselves, Sloppy Butcher actually stops that from happening. Sorry for hitting my mic. But both status effects are removed once the survivor is fully healed, obviously. And then Scorch Hook Gift of Pain. This you do not see very often on any killer, so I'm going to read this to you on what it does. Scorch Hook Gift of Pain is a Cenobite perk, which it is, um, uh, Pinhead's perk. At, you are a, a bringer of sweet pain. At the start of a trial, up to four random hooks are changed with the scorch hooks. You see them in white. When a survivor is unhooked from the scorch hook, they suffer from the hemorrhage and mangled status effect when until fully healed. So then, this on top of Sloppy Butcher is actually a pretty good considering that the hemorrhage status effect on um, both pretty much um, works either way. So if I do not hit that survivor and that stuff, then they're pretty much um, given the hemorrhage and mangle status effect. Um, if the f uh, first time the survivor is healed, they suffer a 16% speed penalty to healing and repairing actions until injured again. So, um, with the yellow, hemorrhage increases healing progress when not healing and increases blood trails left by injured survivors. And then mangled increases time um, required to heal by 25% and lasts until fully healed. So both of these are still are pretty good. Um, I might switch out Sloppy Butcher for her Scourge Hook Pain Residence. So if you don't know what this does, obviously it grants me four Scourge Hook, um, four Scourge Hooks and all that stuff. Anytime a survivor is hooked on a Scourge Hook, the generator with the most progress explodes instantly, losing 15% progress and will start to regress. And I'm going to switch Sloppy Butcher out for her Scorch Hook. So then these two will be my two Gen Slowdowns. And Barbecue and Chili for an easy um, Dire Crows release. And then Scorch Hook, a Gift of Pain. So then her two add-ons that I'm bringing is Severed Hands and Ink Egg. If you don't know what these do, um, I'm going to tell you right now. Severed Hands, any survivor near a... Uh, another survivor will be swarmed with dire crows will also be swarmed. So if a survivor that I have hit has dire crows and um, there's two survivors or three on the generator, then the other one, the other survivor that has a dire crows will put dire crows on the other survivor on that gen and then vice versa, which is actually pretty good because then I can see the dire crows for, I think it's like three seconds or four seconds after they, um, have been applied to that survivor and I can throw down another um, crow in their direction and injure them. So obviously 
with um, the severed hands, I'm combining it with ink egg. So then what ink egg does, it increases the max capacity of dire crows by one. So then I'll have four dire crows to be able to shoot. And then it decreases the time that they stay idle for um, disre disregarding by four seconds. So I am done rambling on and let's get straight into the video. The Sanctum of Wrath. I mean, not really the best one, but let's see what I can do. There's someone over on that gen. Hello there, Dwight. Got him with the Dire of Crows. I don't know how that missed, but okay. I don't know how that missed, but okay. See them crouching over there. off just a little bit. Let's get around one of these score chucks, shall we? Steve. Oh! Yeah, that's what I thought. Goodness gracious. Ah! And thanks to the Dire of Crows, I'm able to see. The survivor vault over. So I'm gonna put her back on the scorch hook where she belongs. And I'm also gonna deal with this boon. Wow. 
out nothing. Oh my god, they do. That's creepy. If you didn't already know, if someone is within a locker, they are also revealed to you if you shoot your dire crows at the locker that they're in. Which is actually pretty useful. So if someone is hiding in a locker, like that Naya was, to get rid of the dire crows, then yes. You may try to reveal them. Or at least for the location. Have some birds, Steve. <laughs> We're done with the birds as well. And if you haven't heard. The Dwight has did a scream because of the pain. Ah! Let's go after this ah! Dwight because he gave up. Give her hatch. I feel bad because freaking the others were kind of stupid. Where are you, hatch? Of crows, I got her a map. Oh, wait. You got a Jane. Ah, uh, just a second longer. Ugh. 
close. by my team residents. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out for you. I think he's in one of these lockers. No. here, Adam. Where are you gonna go? See, I knew he was in a locker because he was screaming inside of a locker, and I couldn't tell which one he was in because it wouldn't reveal the location. So, I thought he was nearby. Sprint burst. have any more add-ons. I only just realized that, but I don't know. Perfect. There's actually a score chug right here. Let's put back right here. Perfect. Let's actually go for this thing. Did she go upstairs? No, she did not. Okay. At least the birds. That was very close. got the Meg. That would have been genius, but I'm not going to tunnel her, so let's go after the Fang. Finally got her with some birds. Let's go. And then we went the other way and cut her off, which is golden. It's actually 
put her back on the square truck right over here. Yeah, I can play blind. Actually, Adam has some birds. Now you got rid of him. I didn't see where he was. Oh well. Yeah, look where that got you. Let's put this gene right on this hook right here. And then the thing is healing nearby. So let's down her and then put her on a normal hook so that we're not wasting our scourge hooks. So then we'll go after this mag because clearly she is like... Well you're healing nearby. I think this thing is also dead. So can't really put on her normal hook, so I won't make it. So let's just put her on this one right here. No, she is not dead. Okay, that's perfect. So then let's see if Adam is on this gen right here. He is not. Let's actually go after her. The only closest hook that we have is the skirt hook up here, but it's alright. It will still get some good progression on certain gens. I do hear the Meg. So I think he's in a lot of somewhere in that area. No, he's not. Let's see if one of these birds hit him. No! Oh my god. Must have been close then. But I know that he was running in this area somewhere, so he must be in a locker. Pikachu, I choose you. No. Somewhere in this area, I know that he is. <laughs> Let's do a blind release on the birds and see if I can get him. No. Where's this hatch then?
See if Hatch is over here. It is. It is right here. So maybe he's at this door. He's not. Let's do that. And then release the birds. Because with this door over here, I can keep shooting my birds at both of the doors, then eventually he'll get hit with one of them. Just like that. So then... He's committing, which is good. He gets out. <laughs> GG. Alright, well that will have to be it for this artist video. I hope you have all enjoyed the game two gameplays. Unfortunately, the second gameplay I completely forgot to do add-ons, but you def definitely do not need add-ons in order to um, use the power and all that stuff. It just gives you like an extra oomph, if you know what I mean. Um, Artist is pretty intermediate to use and all that stuff. Once you pretty much get used to her birds and all that stuff, they get very easy and all that stuff, just like what you saw in the two gameplays. I'm actually pretty good with Artist since she um, got released and all that stuff. So yeah, I hope you have all enjoyed this video. And if you would like to see me live and stuff, just like this content that you would see, except for live, my Twitch will be down in the description below, as long as the same with my Twitter, my Discord, my TikTok, and also my Instagram as well. But definitely give those a follow and all that stuff, and definitely join my Discord would be greatly appreciated, because then you would be able to talk to amongst the other frogs and froglets that are within the community as well, and also play games with them if you would like to. But I'm going to end it here. I hope you have all enjoyed this artist video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.